Hello friends, I'm Yolo and welcome. How are you today? I hope you're ready to learn English today. Hey, Yolo, are you trying to replace me today? Hmm. Well, hello boys and girls. I am Mr. D, your on-screen English teacher for today. Today, you, me, and Yolo are going to learn something fun, something exciting. Are you ready? The topic for today is pet show. In this lesson, we are going to name some pets. What are pets? Do you know? Perhaps you own one at home. Hmm. We're also going to describe the pets. Don't go anywhere. Stay with me and Yolo, and let's learn together. Okay? Are you ready, boys and girls? Are you ready, Yolo? I'm more than ready. Let's go. What are these, Yolo? These are eyes, and these are ears. Oh yes, you're right. We use our eyes to see and ears to listen. So we're going to use our eyes and ears to watch a video, a short video of cute animals. Let's check this out. What do you think about the video? Do you like it? Do you know the names of the animals in the video? Perhaps you own one, or two, or three at home. I have a pet looks like this. It's so cute and fluffy. I like my pet cat. I call it Nala because it is as brave and cute as Nala in The Lion King. What do you call your pet? Oh, I have a fish. I put the fish in a small aquarium. Hmm, what is the name of the fish, Yolo? Its name is Flash. Flash can swim really fast. Ooh, I am pretty sure Flash is such a cute fish. I cannot wait to meet Flash. Hmm. Now, let's look at these pictures. Do you think you can keep these animals at home? Well, a pet is a tame animal that you can keep at home. They can live together with us humans and play with us. However, a wild animal is an animal that lives in their natural home, like the jungle and the ocean. You can keep wild animals at home and make them as your pets. Wild animals are dangerous. Friends, we should not keep wild animals at home. Yes, Yolo, you are right. Wild animals are dangerous. They may look cute, but be careful, boys and girls. They are dangerous. Now, can you guess some of the tame and wild animals? Remember, tame animals can be our pets. To help you think of the answers, let's play a simple game, shall we? It is very simple. You just need to tell me which animals are tame and which animals are wild. Let's look at this first picture. Do you know what animal is this? Can you play with this animal? Can this animal live together with you and your family? This is a bear. A bear is a wild animal. Yes, Yolo, you're right. Once again, a bear is a wild animal and it's dangerous. 
it lives in a jungle. What about this animal? Can you play with this animal? Can you tell me whether it is a wild animal or a tame animal? I know this. I know this. Mm, what's this animal then, Yolo? Um, it's a tiger. My favorite animal. I like tigers too, but tigers are wild animals. Tigers cannot be pets as they are dangerous. You're absolutely correct. Good job. Do you want to play again? Let's go. Let's look at the third picture. Do you know what animal is this? Can you play with this animal? Again, can this animal live together with you? This is a hamster. A hamster is a tame animal. Yes, Yolo, you're right. We can keep a hamster as our pet. It's so cute. I like hamsters. They are cute. And then we have this one. Let's look at this picture. It's green. It's big. It looks fierce. Do you think we can keep this animal at home? Do you think it's a tame animal? Well, this is an iguana. It's a type of lizard, and in fact, it's among the largest lizard in the world. An iguana is a tame animal. It can live together with humans. Do you like this iguana? Hmm, honestly, I don't like it. I don't like lizards. I hope you now understand what pets are. Pets are tame animals that can live together with humans and we can play together with them at home. Okay, can we move on to the next part of this lesson? Yes, yes, I want to know more about pets. I like pets. Okay, Yolo, I heard you. There are many types of pets in this world. Some pets are small and some pets are big. Some pets are brown and some pets are red. We can use sizes and colors to describe our pets. Oh, there are so many animals with different colors. Yes, you're right. When we talk about the size of animal, we can say whether the animal is small or big. For example, a hamster is a small animal. An iguana is a big animal. Both of them are of different sizes, but they can be our pets. What about the size of your pets at home? Are they small or big? Which one do you prefer? A small pet or a big pet? Another way to describe our pets is by using, of course, colors. We can use colors to describe the pets that we keep at home. Let's recall a few colors that we have learned before this. Let's look at this one. What color is this? It's blue. You're right, it's blue. What about this one, Yolo? It's green. And this one? It's red. My favorite color. I love red. Now, boys and girls, can you tell me what colors are these? It's yellow, white, and black. These are the common colors that we can use to describe objects and of course, animals. Do you know what animal is this? Can you tell me what's the color? Yes, this is a frog and is green. Perhaps after this, you can use colors to describe your pets, okay? YOLO, do you want to play a game? What game? I like to play games. In this game, we are going to listen 
to the sound of animals. Tame animals, of course. And you are going to guess the animals. Are you ready, boys? Are you ready, girls? Are you ready, Yolo? Let's listen to the first animal sound. It's a quack quack sound. Do you know what animal that makes that sound? Yes, it is a duck. A duck can be a pet. It's cute. Do you still remember that we can use colors and sizes to describe the pets? So, can you tell me the color and the size of this duck? I know. This is a duck. It's yellow. It's small. You are always smart, Yolo. You are correct. It's yellow and it's small. Now, do you like this pet duck? If you like it, you can say I like it. But if you don't like it, you can say I don't like it. Remember, there's no right or wrong answer for this. It's totally up to you. So, do you like this pet duck? For me, I like it. This duck is yellow, small, and cute. Now, let's listen to the second animal sound. Hmm, it's a woof woof sound. Do you know what animal that makes that sound? Yes, it's a dog. A dog can be a pet. It can live together with us humans. Yolo, can you and your friends describe this dog? It's so easy. Come on, boys and girls. Let's do this together. This is a dog. It's black and white. It's big. Good job! Yes, this is a dog. It's black and white. It's big. What do you think about this pet dog? Do you like it? Remember, there's no right or wrong answer for this. It's completely up to you. If you like it, you can say, I like it. But if you don't like it, you can always say, I don't like it. So, do you like this pet dog? Yes, I like it. But I'm afraid of big dogs. Really? Me too. Now, let's move on to the next one, shall we? Let's try to listen to this animal sound. It sounds so familiar, right? I think many people like this animal. It's a meow meow sound. Do you know what animal that makes that sound? Oh yes, it's a cat. A cat can be a pet. It can live together with us humans. And we can also play with cats at home. I have a pet cat at home too. It's orange, just like in the picture. Well, Yolo, once again, can you and your friends describe this cat? Yes, it's easy. This is a cat. It's orange. It's big. Amazing! Yes, this is a cat. It's orange. For me, it's a big cat. Now, what do you think about this pet cat? Do you like it? Remember, there's no right or wrong answer for this. It's completely up to you. If you like it, you can say, I like it. But if you don't like this animal, you can say, I don't like it. So, do you like this pet cat? No, I don't like cats. Oh, uh, okay. I like cats. There are other interesting tame animals that we can choose and keep as our pets. Do you want to know more? Let's look at this picture. Do you know this animal? Can you rearrange the letters so we can know the name of this animal? It starts with R, A, B, B, I, T. 
rabbit. Rabbit is a rabbit. A rabbit can be a cute pet. It can live with us at home in a cage. A pet rabbit is just like a pet cat, except a rabbit hops, not walks. Yolo, once again, can you and your friends describe this rabbit? Yes, I can. Come on, boys and girls. We can do this. It's easy. This is a rabbit. It's brown. It's small. Bravo! It is brown and it is small. I like rabbits. They are fluffy and cute. Do you like rabbits, boys and girls? If you like a pet rabbit, you can say, I like it. If you don't like a pet rabbit, you can say, well, I don't like it. Remember, there's no right or wrong answer for this. It's up to you. Now, let's try to guess the next animal. Let's look at this one. Do you know this animal? Can you rearrange the lattice so we can know the name of this animal? Mm hmm. It starts with P A R R O N T. Parrot. It's a parrot. A parrot is a bird. It can live with us at home in a cage. A pet parrot sings. When it's happy, just like us humans, we sing when we're happy too. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. There you go. I am singing because I am feeling so happy. YOLO, please once again, can you and your friends describe this pet parrot? Of course we can. It's easy. This is a parrot. It's green. It's small. Yes, it's green and it is small. Well done, everyone. Do you know that a parrot is not used to flying for a long time? It may get tired easily. Hmm. Yolo, do you like parrots? Do you want to have a parrot at home? I do. I like parrots. It can sing. And yes, I wish I can have a pet parrot. What about you boys and girls? Do you like a pet parrot? Well, you know what to say, right? Do you know that some people keep a spider as their pet? A pet spider can live in a small terrarium. A terrarium is a glass container, like this one. But beware, most spiders are dangerous. A pet spider is not suitable for children. However, if you really want to have a pet spider, please be extra, extra careful when playing with it. And of course, with adult supervision. Well, Yolo, can you help me once again to describe the spider in this terrarium? Sure, I can. Friends, let's describe this spider together, shall we? This is a spider. It's black. It's small. Thank you, Yolo. This spider is black. It's small too. Remember, boys and girls, the easiest way to describe anything is by using colors and sizes. Friends, do you like this pet spider? What do you think about having a spider as your pet? Do you like a pet spider, Yolo? No, I don't like it. It looks dangerous for me. I need to be extra careful. That is smart. I don't like it too. So boys, 
and girls, do you like a pet spider? As always, if you like it, you can always say, I really like it. But if you don't like it, perhaps as your pet, you can always say, I don't like it. Don't worry, there's no right or wrong answer for this one. Now, let's look at this animal. It's very unique. Have you seen this animal before? Do you know the name of this animal? This animal looks like a fish, but it's not. It's called axolotl. Wow! This animal looks amazing and weird. Is this a tame animal? Yes, it is. You can keep an axolotl as a pet. It looks like a fish, but it's actually not. Oh, interesting. Yes, and also, axolotl can be found in many colors, like black, white, gray, and gold. Can you describe this axolotl for me? Can you tell me the color and the size of this axolotl? I can help my friends at home to describe this animal. This is axolotl. It's pink. It's small. Well, well, well. You're absolutely correct. It's pink and it's small. Sometimes it can grow up to 20 to 30 centimeters. That's a fun fact about axolotl. True. So boys and girls, what do you think about this pet axolotl? Do you like it? What can you say if you like this animal? Yes, you can say, I like it. And what do you have to say if you don't quite like it? You can say this. YOLO. Hey, YOLO. Can you help me to list out all the animals that we have learned today? You mean all the pets that we have learned today? Sure, I can. Friends, let's do this together. We have duck, dog, cat, rabbit, parrot, spider, and axolotl. Can you describe these pets? Now, it is time to check your understanding. Are you ready? Yes, I am. I'm so ready. As always, you sound so confident. That is great. Now, let's look at this picture. Ta-da! Can you describe these two pets? Remember, you can use colors and sizes to describe the animals. It's so easy. I'm pretty sure you can do this. This is a cat. It's white. It's small. This is a dog. It's brown. It's big. Did you get all the answers correct? Can we describe more animals? Yes, we can. Let's go. All right. Let's look at the next picture. Can you describe these two pets? Again, don't forget to use colors and sizes to describe these animals. Do you want Yolo to help you? Don't worry, friends. We can do this together. Let's start with the bird. Yes, let's start with the bird. Can you tell me the color and the size of the bird, please? This is a bird. It's yellow. It's small. Good job! The bird is yellow and small. Now, what about the second animal? Can you describe its color and its size? Of course! It's easy. This is an axolotl. It's black. It's small. 
Well done, everyone! I can see now that you can describe the pets correctly. Since we have learned about many team animals that can be our pets, can you tell me which one is your favorite? For me, my favorite pet would be cats. I like cats. Cats are cute and fluffy. Some cats are big and some are small. My favorite pet now would be the axolotl. I like it. Axolotl looks amazing. I wish I can own one right now. Wow, maybe you can buy an axolotl from a pet shop, Yolo. Now, let's recall what we have learned this time. There are two groups of animals. The first one is the wild animals. For examples, tigers, sharks, bears, and pandas are wild animals. I like pandas. We can't live together with wild animals because most of them are dangerous. Many wild animals are big in size too, so we cannot keep them as pets. The second one is the tame animals. For examples, cats, dogs, fish, and hamsters are tame animals. And many tame animals can be pets as they are less dangerous and small in size. We can live together with tame animals and play together with them. Whatever the animal is, if you like them, you can always say, I like it. But if you don't like the animal, don't be scared to say, I don't like it. Remember, there's no right or wrong answer when it comes to your favorite animals. It's your preference after all. And when we want to describe the animals, you can use colors and sizes, just like what we have learned just now. Some tame animals need people to take care of them. Hence, we can keep them as pets. Remember, we need to be gentle when we are near a tame animal. What do you think would happen if we did not feed a pet? You can share your opinions with your parents, teachers, or even your own friends about this. Hmm, okay, that's all for now. I hope you enjoy and understand what we have learned today. Don't forget, boys and girls, always be kind and nice to animals. Stay happy and stay kind. Bye!